going on, Gaz? I dropped the name here. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Looks like the Citadel's actually back in us. For once. Or we're gonna get here and then be like, <laughs> this is a this is a trick. We you're crazy. We're putting you in like a confined space with a stray jacket. One of the two. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this. With my help, of course. Commander! Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Dang it. <laughs> Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Dang it. I'm gonna take Rex. And I'm gonna take Rex. Because you're gonna get wrecked. Sorry, I'll never say that again. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. It's like a whip out a gun now and just kill the council. And, you know, I'm 
dark and shit. of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Uh, so, you like elevators, guys? I love them. I uh, can't get enough elevator, uh, actually, in my life. You know, my doctor said that you should probably get more elevator in your life, and I said, ha, how can I get more? Commander Shepard? Um, hi. Khalees had been seen in Aljilani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Uh, yeah. What do you want to know? I'm a man of the people. You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. A nice little... Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? The Council had nothing to do with it. There was an accident at Binary Helix Labs. In the interest of protecting the company's confidentiality, I can't say more. That's a surprising revelation, Commander. We've had nothing but stonewalling from Binary Helix. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Respect's a funny thing. People always assume they deserve it. The truth is, respect is earned. And I firmly believe we can earn it. You're an idealist, Commander, but a sincere one. I hope you're right. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? You know, I don't know how good of an idea... It is to tell the media this, but... Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says that Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. You're welcome. I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> right, guys? Right, right, right. I don't remember the layout of this. Okay, where we need to go again? Somewhere. Alright, let's go up the elevator to Presidium. Does that sound right to you guys? Eh. Nothing like an adventure. Classy, almost samba. Yeah, I'd say samba. So you've spent your entire adult life just studying old Prothean junk? Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. It's good for you. A nice explosion every now and then keeps the mind sharp. 
can't argue with that, Rex. You should be a philosopher. You're... You've great mind for things like this. It's a beautiful even. But uh, we we gotta go. We gotta go to Flux. Uh uh, uh which is um. Uh, uh, you know? I don't know where it is. What's it? Teleportation skills, or I don't know, like the transport. Hello, random man walking by. I'm Commander Shepard Saber of the University. Yeah. No, no reason to thank me. I'm a humble man. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. See, the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. You're welcome. Now, I don't remember any of the flux. Uh, cause I'm going in the right direction. Like, that's some kind of map. It's not this thing. Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidium yeah. Tourism Terminal 2. Okay. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, okay. one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, okay. including okay, incarceration Just and stop rehabilitation. Please stop talking. That's all for now. Thank you for talking. using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Oh, an elevator. Let's go the elevator, guys. Where are they going to? Yeah, it's probably about the right place. More well, elevators. Do you guys have any more words of wisdom? Rex? There. I think I'd like to say to ease my mind during this accenture. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians Who's are upset? reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. Oh. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That's terrible. What, who would ever do such a thing? You know, I feel like this little bit could be a little faster. Um, I feel like 
one of those teleport thingies. Around here. Right? No? Yes? Like up here? <sighs> I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. A specter? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Yeah. Um, if I get to it, I mean, there's a whole universe and everything to save, so... Yeah. There we go, there's a... thing I need. Oh, is it words? Yeah, it is. Flux. Go. Time to go chill out. Uh, Anderson, you know... You know... Uh, Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. Uh, I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant! Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant, I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right, uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. I am too. That's kind of thick. You should be careful who you say that around. What? Everyone knows Fist isn't with the local criminals. Maybe, but I wouldn't go shouting it from the mountaintops. Yeah, unless you want to end up on his hit list. Yes. Hey, good to see another human in here. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but... Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. 
Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. I hope it works out. Goodbye. All right. They kind of have a galaxy to save. I don't have time. I'm waiting for someone else. Where is he? Came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. Let's go. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. I like how people, like, after you talk to them, they just disappear. Asari that strong? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. All that power and some Asari don't use it? You could have conquered the galaxy if you'd wanted to. Evidently, we do not want to. Oh, oh. Really? Yeah, don't say. Maybe it's just like a, a save screen. No. We're gonna go. Enter the Stand by, shore party. 
decontamination. Oh, what? Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <laughs> Out of here, Joker. Now. Hell yeah. Vroom. Let's do this. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I'm sure Saren inconvenienced the people he killed on Eden Prime, too. I'm on your side, Commander. Remember that. This comes from the Joint Military Command. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. I'm the only one to uh, notice that um, Shepard said, Oh, just tell me what to do, and they didn't say anything. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. <laughs> I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything.
Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right, so going into the final battle. Oh, we got to go for our best crew. That's been going on. And, um, yeah, can we pick Caden? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Too soon? Too soon. Uh, we're going Liara and Rex to finish this off. Because I feel like this is the most badass crew that we could have right now. Liara is just going to take people, destroy them. Rex is just going to eat some people, you know, great times. It's Saren. Finds a conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode right here. Thank you for watching. The next episode will be soon.